Hey kids, it's Pastor Austin here with this week's Big Truth. So we're in our third week of our series of redemption. And last week we talked about that God is our substitute. So this week we have another big truth for you. Are you ready? This week's big truth is God is Father. God is Father. So we're going to take a look at really another word called adoption. So last week we talked about substitution. This week we're going to be talking about adoption and how God is Father. Where does that come from? Our Bible verse for this week. Our Bible verse for this week is 1 John 3, 1. 1 John 3, 1 says this, See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. I think you guys got the big truth there in this verse. So 1 John 3, 1, it says this, See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. And so what we're talking about this week is that we are adopted into God's family through Jesus Christ. Through faith in Jesus, God is our Father, and we are His children, and that's called adoption. So I'm going to give you an example of that that's going to kind of lead us into our big ideas for this week. So I've got some, some objects uh, on my table here. Anybody know what kind of shape all of these objects are? You can say it out loud. Yeah, these objects are circles. So I've got different examples of circles here. And so if you look at a circle, you can see there's really no beginning and no end, right? That you can, you can see a circle. A circle should be a full shape that has no beginning and no end. And so that actually leads to our big ideas for this week when we're talking about adoptions. We're going to get there in just a second. So hang on to that idea of circles having no beginning and no end. They, they kind of represent being forever. So our first big idea for this week is that we are outside of God's family. We, as sinners, who have rejected and rebelled against God, we are outside the family of God. The second big idea for this week is that God sent Jesus, his very one and only son, to rescue us from our separation from God. That God provided a way for us to not be separated, to not be outside of the family of God, and it's through Jesus. Third big idea is that adoption is applied through faith. Adoption is applied to the life of the believer through faith repentance and saving faith and trust in Jesus Christ, we can have adoption applied to us and be brought into the family of God. And last big idea, just like circles that have no beginning and no end, adoption, once we are adopted into the family of God, it is final and it is forever. We are now inside the family of God, not outside the family of God. Isn't that good news? That God is Father. So our Bible story for this week is an illustration, an example of that. And it's actually found in Joshua chapter 2 and Joshua chapter 6 and one little verse in Matthew chapter 1. And it's the story of Rahab. So Rahab was outside of the family of God. And she, when, when the spies came in to the land, she hid the spies because of her faith in who God was. And because of that, she, she and her family were spared from being destroyed. And then she was a part of God's family through her faith in God. And that's why we have Matthew um, in chapter 1, verse 5. Rahab is actually listed as an ancestor of Jesus. So someone who was outside of the family of God, through faith in God, became a part of God's family, and then also became a part of the lineage of Jesus Christ himself. It's a pretty incredible story. So I encourage you guys, read through Joshua 2 and 6 and Matthew 1, and see the story of Rahab, and let it be an illustration, an example to us, that God is Father through adoption, we can be a part of God's family, just like Rahab. Last thing, family challenge for this week. So here's what I want you guys to do. 
You don't need anything for this other than just gather your family up and have a conversation. And here's what I want parents and grandparents and caregivers to do. Talk to your boys and girls about how they became a part of your family. Maybe it's a birth story, maybe it's an adoption story, or maybe there's some other story of how boys and girls came to be a part of your family. That's an incredible story for each and every child for them to know the details of that. And then as you have that conversation, let it be a reminder that it is important for us to know that God is the Father, that we can be adopted into God's family through faith in Jesus Christ. Hey, hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Oh,